Hello, hello. It is Hannah, your sparkling Spectrumite. I hope everyone is having just a lovely day or evening or really whenever you're watching this. Um, yeah, I hope this video is finding everyone well, uh, that you all had a wonderful Easter or, you know, spring holiday. And I am here today with a, actually, it should be right side up. That would be better, wouldn't it? Uh, with a Timu unbagging, because it's not really a box, so we'll call it an unbagging this time. So I have ordered from this company before. So this is Timu, or Temu, but I say Timu, so let me know how you pronounce it. But um, it's very, very similar to AliExpress, and I was really curious about it. I had ordered some things from there before, and I'll kind of show you. It was in a video of mine that I made before. But um, I found some of these like enamel pens because I wanted to make my own cover minders. So I'd ordered these from Timu and was just really happy with them. The shipping was great. They came in a really timely manner. And then I also found out too that guys, uh, the Timu app, like for your phone, it's like the number one downloaded app. I think it's even surpassed Amazon, which is crazy. So um, I'd seen that they had some more kind of just little diamond painting accessories and I wanted to try them out. So let's just get right into it. I'm just going to cut the top of the bag off because it's, it's just easier using my little scissors. I've had these scissors forever. You know how sometimes you just have a really good pair of scissors and look how worn they are. Like they're melted and everything, but they're just a good pair of scissors. So I keep them around. All right, so let's see. So these are just diamond painting accessories, but I wanted to try them out. So the first thing, I'll just do it one by one. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so the first thing is that I wanted, guys, these are actually DMC labels because I am now having um, a little bit of a collection of special drills, and I wanted to label them just probably in just, you know, kind of the round tubes with the screw tops. And I wanted some labels for them. And sure enough, I saw these and it was all the diamond painting um, DMC labels. And guys, these were literally a dollar. So I thought that was pretty good. So sorry for the crinkling. So yeah, so let's see here. <gasps> there we go, look at that. It's got all the different colors and I just thought, that would be a great way to label my special drills. This is awesome. I mean, for a dollar, I figured that was worth it. I mean, why not try it? So you've got three sheets here. And see, as you can see, it starts at 150 down here. And then it's not really in order exactly, but I figured, and it may not even have all the colors, I'm not sure, but I figure for a dollar, it's worth trying. These feel really thick and sturdy, by the way. They almost feel like kind of those um, like vinyl stickers. So I think this is gonna be great. And they're, I think they're gonna be perfect for just the little round screw top bottles that I have. So very nice. I mean, for a dollar, guys, I think it's totally worth it. Oh wait, maybe there's, okay, so hold on. Do I have them? They're kind of like sticking together on me. I think this is all of them. Oh, here we go. Yeah, there we go. So yeah, it goes in order. So you got, this is the first set, 164. Then it goes to 165. Then this one. And then this one. So very nice. This is going to be great. Um, I'm starting to try to figure out an organization system with my special drill, so I figured this was a good way to start. And again, I will say it one more time, for a dollar for all this, not a bad deal. So that's the first thing, are these special stickers. Let's see what else we got in here. Oh, okay. I just thought this was cute. It's just like one of those little desktop brooms. I don't know about you guys, but I get drills on my desk all the time on my work surface. 
And now I have one of these little vacuums, which works well, but sometimes I don't really need the vacuum. It's just a couple. And especially with static drills, they always stick to my hand. So I thought this was so cute. And it's a little brush and dustpan. <laughs> So there you go. So if you have, you know, little drills that spill on your desk, you can just, you know, kind of dust them, sweep them up and put them back. So I don't know. Is this essential? No, but is it, I don't know, kind of convenient? Yeah. You know, and again, this was like, I think maybe $2. I think everything I bought was I think about $7 or under. So I probably should have said that at the beginning. So everything I bought here was either $7 or under. So very cute, a little dustpan and broom. Or, you know, if you're not, you know, even with other little things, if you drop it, um, you know, not bad to have just a little desktop dustpan with like loose paper or little crumbs or I don't know, whatever. I, I mean, I got it, my guys. Sometimes I eat while I'm diamond painting. So there you go, keep the crumbs away <laughs> from, your, from your diamond painting. All right, next thing is this little cutter. I thought this was super cute. So um, now this is for when um, some people like to, you know, cut the plastic off of their diamond paintings, like they section it off and cut it off. And usually what they use is something like this. I'm gonna pull it out here is, you know, they use one of these ceramic cutters just like that, where it's, you know, just like this little blade. Um, honestly, guys, I like these, but they're not my favorite. And this is just a matter of preference. So instead of one of these, I had been using just an X-Acto knife, but at the same time, I definitely don't want to tear my canvas. So I thought, I thought this was so cute. It's like a little paw print, and of course it's pink. And this one's just see, it's a little blade. So I'm gonna try and use this to cut my um, plastic when I'm, you know, sectioning it off with washi tape. Washi tape. Now the thing is with this, you obviously don't want to apply apply a lot of pressure because if you do, you're gonna tear right through your canvas. But I have a very light hand as it is, so I'm going to try and use this just because the ceramic pen knife. I don't know guys, it just doesn't really do it for me. I get a little more, I, I don't get it as accurately as I'd like even when I use a ruler. So I thought this was really cute. Plus it's retractable. And look, it's a little paw print. I think that's cute. They called it a bear paw print, but I think it looks like a cat and I have cats. So, so yeah, it just retracts. It can retract even further and then you can just take it right back in. Again, I think this was like a dollar. So there we go, put that there. All right, what else do we got? This is kind of fun because I don't always remember everything that I order. Ooh, okay. This I was really excited about. So um, I had made a video on how to do um, cover minders using uh, big pieces of kind of costume jewelry or brooches. And sure enough, they had some rhinestone ones. So I thought, well, why not try it? So look at that. So I got this little cameo little pen and see, it's just a pen. Oh, and it's got perfect flat surface. So I thought this would be fun to make into a cover minder. So look at that. It's super pretty, I think. So there we go. So this is gonna be a cover minder. So I'm just gonna be, you know, detaching the pen on it, gluing a magnet onto it. So there's one. I just thought that was pretty. I love cameos. I think they're really, really cool looking. So that's one. And again, I'm pretty sure that was like maybe $3. It was not expensive. <gasps> Ooh, then I ordered another one. Ooh, okay, I can't wait to see this one because you can't really see it because of the label, but you can probably guess what it is. So it opens at the bottom here. There we go. <gasps> Look at that. Oh, it wasn't. Oh, the pin fell off. Okay. So, but that's okay. It doesn't matter, guys, because, oops, sorry. I'm not going to be, I'm going to be taking this pin off anyways. Look at that, though. It's a peacock. 
That's really pretty. So again, another way to make a cover minder. Now with this, it's gonna be a little more difficult because there's all these little see-through spots. So you most likely will see the magnet behind it. But I was just like, how can you say no to all those pretty blues and everything? I think that'll make a really pretty cover minder. So very cool. So we've got that rhinestone uh, costume jewelry. Again, because I was like, might as well try my hands at making more. And then last one, okay, this is the last one. So, looks like a glasses case, it is not. I'm gonna open it up here. But I, I have to admit, I've never tried one of these before. And I figured, you know what, why not try it? So it's a tin case, you can kind of hear it. And let's see if I can open it. Oh, okay, it's got a little. Ooh, this might be, I might have, there we go. So what this is, is, I put it down here. This is a light up diamond painting pen. So you can, it lights up. You can turn it on and turn it off and it shines a light so you can kind of see. So actually I'm kind of seeing what the setting. So it's got a white light and it's got a yellow light. And sorry, I know that probably came out of focus for a minute. So what this is, is a light up diamond painting pen. It's got like a little uh, loop that you can attach here so it doesn't get lost. So let me see if I can put this loop in. There we go. There we go. So there you go, you got a little handle. But then check this out. It comes with some thin plastic tips. So, and some multi-placers. So if you want a light up multi-placer or a light up single tip or single placing tip, you can use it. Ooh. Sorry guys, these bags are beating me right now. There we go. So I'm just gonna take out all these pieces. So let's see here. It looks like it comes with a four placer. You've got a plastic single placing curved tip. Your standard brass tip, single placing tip. You've got, looks like a two placer. And looks like this might be a five or a seven. Now there is a little piece of plastic hanging off this. So again, you know, this probably isn't like the highest quality, but you never know. So that needs to come off, but I'll take that off later. So let's say I just want this. This goes right in here. Ooh, let's see if it goes in might have to kind of work it a little bit because this doesn't look like it's going in. So again, see, this is why I get this stuff and try it. So you guys don't have to, oh, okay. Okay, there we go. Oh yeah, that's in there. And then you can turn the light on and you can kind of light up what you're working on. So I don't know, I just thought it was interesting guys. And then what's kind of cool is it also comes with this little magnifying glass. So see, you got a magnifying glass and it looks like you just clip it on to here. There we go. So then you can like really look at what you're doing. So like you can, yeah, you can magnify things and then light it up. So I don't know, I thought that was kind of cool. Is this something I'll probably use all the time? I mean, probably not, but I mean, in a situation where maybe you don't have a light pad or an overhead light and you're trying to diamond paint, this, this isn't bad. I mean, it's not a bad idea. And again, this was less than $10. I think this was maybe, I think this was the most expensive thing at $7, but I mean, it came with all these tips. And then, you know, comes with a little case. And I believe, if I remember correctly, this does recharge somehow. I just don't remember how, so I'll have to look. But I do believe this is rechargeable. 
So it doesn't need a battery or anything like that. So I'll have to figure that out. Actually, let me take it off camera and see if I can. I know there was a way, because I remember when I ordered it, I thought that was really cool. But I'll have to look how to do that. But I do believe this is rechargeable. So yeah, I mean, it's got a nice light to it. So it might be something, and then again, it's got that yellow light. Again, is it something you have to have? No, but is it something that might be kind of just convenient to have? You know, possibly. So, and it did come in different colors, which I thought was really cool too. So yeah, so that's the pen and you can keep all the accessories in it and just close it up. We've got a little pen. Did have a little dent there, but I don't really care about that. So yeah, so again, guys, I mean, not a whole lot of money, I think, for all these things. It was definitely less than 20, so I got these awesome labels. These are awesome. I'm actually really excited about that, especially for a dollar. So I got these labels, got some new rhinestone pens to make cover minders with, got um, this little, you know, sweeping set to sweep stuff off your desk if you want little cutter, retractable cutter, just like that. And then this, you know, kind of different diamond painting pen. I mean, it's definitely worth a try. I'll have to, you know what I'll do is sometime I'll use it in a video and then you guys can really see how it works. But it's not bad. I mean, pretty cool. And it's light and it's a good, you know, it's a good width. It feels comfortable to hold. So there we go. But yeah, just some fun little, very, very budget-friendly diamond painting accessories from uh, Timu, which again is a very, very, uh, it is very popular. It is growing very fast. And yeah, so that's it, guys. Those are just some fun, kind of budget-friendly diamond painting goodies that, are they necessities? No. Are they kind of convenient? Yeah, they're just kind of fun. And for that kind of price, I think it's definitely worth trying out. I mean, why not? So yeah, but anyways, um, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, so glad to be making videos again. I did take a little bit of a break, but uh, it's always nice because after I take a break, I'm just like, woo, I'm excited and I'm ready to make some more. So I appreciate everyone's patience and just understanding waiting. And uh, again, I, I always appreciate your support and your encouragement. You guys are just always awesome. This community is always fantastic to be part of. So anyways, I hope this video brought you a little bit of joy. Always brings me joy making them. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.